Hey guys, it's John from JMOF Pickup. Today we're going to talk about opening. Okay, so this is one of the most important and fundamental parts of the game. You're going to need to approach a lot of strangers or what's referred to as open them. Okay, all that means is starting a conversation with them. Okay, so I'm going to go over the main principles of what you need to be aware of and what you need to do when you are opening a new stranger. Okay. So we're going to put this in the context of a bar or club environment to what's referred to as night game. Okay, so the first rule is you have three seconds to approach. Okay, when you see a girl that you find attractive, you're going to think in your head, one, two, three. You can't wait longer than three seconds. Okay, you have to commit to that rule. That's going to force you to go in before you start thinking about these doubtful things like what if she doesn't like me? What if I'm not good enough? What if she has a boyfriend? What if she thinks I'm ugly? Whatever the, the shit is that comes into your head, you want to approach right away before that stuff comes into your brain. And in terms of who you're going to approach, you're going to want to set a threshold, okay? So it's kind of a binary thing. It's either you would fuck the girl or you wouldn't, okay? So for some of you with a 10 point rating scale, 10 being perfect, zero being the worst, <laughs> I don't know if there's any girls that anyone could rate a zero, but you're going to want to set that number somewhere. So for a lot of you guys, it's going to be like a seven out of 10, 6.5 out of 10. Don't set your standards too, too high, especially when you're practicing at this stuff. Like, of course, we'd all like to just fuck nines and above all day long or 9.5s and above or even tens and nothing lower, but that's just not how reality is. So you're going to have to set it at like a seven, 7.5, 6.5. Maybe even a six, okay? Especially if you're a newer guy. So wherever you set that threshold, if that girl physically happens to look over that attracting this amount, then you're gonna go approach and you spend no longer than three seconds. Because if you wait more than three seconds, the girl could see you trying to build up confidence and she could leave, right? Or not leave, like she could like see you trying to build up confidence and think you're a lower value. She could leave or she could be interrupted. Some other guy could talk to her. She could start ordering a drink at the bar. Her friends could interrupt. She could start dancing. It doesn't matter. You want to go in immediately. Once you go in, you want to square up, right? Your shoulders are squared up. You're standing straight. Eye contact right on the girl you want to talk to. Whatever your opener is. And for me, I teach to say, hi, can I meet you real quick? Or hi, I wanted to meet you. What's your name? Or, hey, what's up? I wanted to meet you, right? I'm John. Whatever your opener is, that's the one I suggest. But whatever it is, you're going to want to say it loud enough, especially when you're in a nightclub or a bar and you're competing with club noise, right? And other people talking. You're going to want to really project your voice. Hi, can I meet you real quick? What's your name, right? You want to really project it. You also want to be speaking with a commanding tone. So you're not like, hi, can I meet you real quick? Or you're not like, Hi, can I meet you real quick? Like really robotic. You're like, hi, can I meet you real quick? Right? It's like downward inflection. Okay, so speaking loud enough, squaring up with your body language, speaking with a commanding tone, downward inflection, um, eye contact, squaring up, also holding your hand out, right? Standing up straight. All that is going to communicate to her you can even smile too, right? Like when you're opening, you're not like, hi, like, can I meet you? Like you're coming in there and you're like looking at her kind of like, I'm the man, you know, I'm the man, I'm confident, all this stuff, right? So all those body language cues are going to translate into her um, thinking that you are a high value man, a confident man, a cool guy, right? So that's basically all there is to it. And I also want to stress that the content of what you say in your opener does not really matter. So, and you can experiment, experiment with this if you want. I have plenty of hidden camera videos where I, I demonstrate this. But you can say pretty much anything as long as it's not like super offensive <clears throat> or like super, super shocking. You can pretty much get away with saying whatever you want as long as you are following these things, okay? Squaring up, speaking loud enough, commanding tone, eye contact, okay? Posture, you're standing up straight. All that stuff and you're gonna to want to make sure you go in right away so that she doesn't leave or see you trying to work up the courage but that's pretty much it like you guys don't need to make opening too big of a deal I have another video on my channel where I talk about the reason why we feel approach anxiety 
the reason why we feel that fear or that nervousness when we want to approach a stranger. I explain where that comes from, from an evolutionary standpoint, and why it is no longer relevant in our modern times. And I also go over how to overcome that. So make sure you check out that video as well to go hand in hand with this one. But there's not really much else to say. I want to keep these videos as concise as possible. That is how you open. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you.